During COVID-19, PPE must include hand sanitizer, gown, N95 mask, gloves, and protective eyewear. First, check the scene for danger and any opioid-related clues. Check for responsiveness. Try to wake the person up. Open the airway and check for breathing for no more than 10 seconds. Have someone call 911 and have them bring an AED if available. Naloxone should be used by lay rescuers in a suspected opioid-related overdose. However, it should not delay first aid and CPR measures. If the person is not breathing, start compression-only CPR until a second rescuer puts on, dons, their PPE and arrives with a bag valve mask. Continue compression-only CPR. Once the second rescuer arrives, stop CPR and check for signs of circulation for no more than 10 seconds. Check the person's pulse, appropriate color of the skin, any coughing, breathing, or movement. If the person is not breathing, but you are 100% certain that they have signs of blood circulating, such as a pulse, start assisted breathing. Give one breath every five seconds for approximately one minute before rechecking signs of circulation. The second rescuer places the BVM over the person's nose and mouth and keeps the airway open using the head tilt chin lift technique. Continue assisted breathing for approximately one minute. Once one minute goes by, recheck pulse and signs of circulation. If there is no signs of circulation or you are unsure, start CPR. Give 30 compressions. Give two ventilations. Continue 30 compressions and two ventilations, 30 to two. Once the AED arrives, bear the person's chest, remove clothing, jewelry, medicine patches, water sweat, and excessive hair. Attach electrodes. If the AED determines a shock is required, stand back and say, I'm clear, you're clear, everybody's clear, and push the shock button. Shock delivered. After shock delivery, if there are no signs of life, continue CPR. If you are performing upfront compressions on a patient, it is suggested that you put a, one, a surgical mask on your patient to prevent any of their droplets being expelled into the atmosphere that you are. Also, your personal PPE is important. In addition, when using a bag valve mask, having a filter on it is essential. And the other important tactic when you are ventilating or performing CPR is the BVM face piece remains on the patient's face at all times. This way, during compressions, the air being pushed out of their lungs is being captured in the BVM and in the filter, not going into the atmosphere. Single rescuer, assisted breathing with bag valve mask. With additional training, you can learn how to check for breathing and pulse at the same time. Check pulse for no more than 10 seconds. If in doubt, start CPR. If the person is not breathing, but you are 100% certain they have a pulse, start assisted breathing. Continue assisted breathing by giving one breath every five seconds. To do so, as a single person, you can place a bag valve mask over the person's face and use the C3 hold to firmly place the mask over the person's nose and mouth while tilting their head back. With the other hand, squeeze the bag one breath every five seconds until you see the chest rise. Once one minute goes by, recheck pulse and signs of circulation. Two rescuer CPR with one-handed bag valve mask. The rescuer managing the airway can also provide the bag valve mask. They can use a C3 hold to position the BVM. How to administer naloxone nasal spray. Gently insert the tip of the nozzle into one nostril until your fingers on either side of the nozzle are against the bottom of the person's nose. Press the plunger firmly to give the entire dose of naloxone nasal spray. 
Let's see what it looks like. How to administer naloxone injectable. Dave, how are you? I'm doing good. Can you walk us through how to use an injectable naloxone? Absolutely. Okay. Okay. So first thing you do is you want to make sure you get your syringe out of the package and ready to ready for use. Okay. Next, you're going to get your vial of naloxone, and you just want to spin it around a little. Okay. Sometimes you can see people get a little tap to get the uh, the fluid out from the cap. Okay. And then you're going to use this cap breaker, which you just put on, and then you just snap it right off. Ooh. It just safely breaks the cap off. Remember, this is a sharp hazard, so this will eliminate the chance of uh, getting cut. Okay. Next, you will take out the syringe, carefully insert it in the vial, okay. and then you're going to pull back on the plunger mm -hmm. and extract all the, the naloxone out of the vial. And that usually is a good sign. Next. The bubbles are a good sign? Bubbles is usually indicate you're near the end. Okay. And try to squeeze out most of the air, but don't worry about if there's a few bubbles in there. Next, you want to do, like any other time you've been in, had an injection, mm -hmm. just wipe the area with an alcohol prep. Okay. And then you want to inject it in a large muscle, so we can either do the upper of the arm here, the pectoral, or we can do the thigh, okay. and then you just go straight into the muscle, and then slowly just inject it inside. Wow, thank you That's so much. Take the cap on, and then finally, Put it in the sharps container. Okay. okay. Just remember, it's very important before you um, use a, a needle or syringe that if this is a sharps hazard, so you alert everyone around you uh, that you are about to inject. If they are doing compressions, they should stop for that moment until you safely inject the person, and then resuscitation efforts can continue once the needle has been secured into the uh, sharps container. Do not delay CPR or other critical first aid measures for naloxone. Call for emergency medical assistance immediately. It may take about one to five minutes for breathing to return to normal. Naloxone lasts for about 20 to 90 minutes. A second dose may be given between three to five minutes. The person may become aggressive or may vomit or have diarrhea. Be aware of the hazards and risks associated with needle stick injury. Thank you for watching. Out of homeless people. Oh man, drink coffee time. Street corners and Jones and four effects. Lunatics are out tonight. Screaming to be heard as a little girl sits, watching it all go by. She's watching it all. This is her home, it's her home, these blocks are occupied, they're occupied by the heart, poverty, these blocks are occupied, they're occupied.